friends, let me tell you guys about the pro and con about this LOL house. I know you guys are all wondering, so here's my opinion. Let's start with the pro. The pro is this dollhouse is absolutely adorable. The LOL design on here, we got all the cute little pictures of the LOL dolls. I really like that this dollhouse comes with an exclusive family because it makes this dollhouse even more special. I love the scenery, the cute little design. All the room is designed just unique and everything about LOL. The dollhouse is pretty big. It's 2.75 feet tall and 3 feet wide. So it's actually perfect size for Sophie. Sophie's tiny. But this dollhouse is perfect. I'm sure she can grow into it and still be in a good use for her. I love the pool, the pool and the hot tub and the sandbox. We don't have any other dollhouse that has a pool inside the dollhouse. So this is really good for us. We are really excited about that. I like the, the bathroom, the tub is pretty big and there's a toilet, working toilet. The rooms are all separated, it's really cute. Alright, so let me tell you guys the con about this dollhouse. <laughs> everything was going fine, smoothly unboxing, everything was nice and it was just going well until I started building it. I mean, it took me an hour and a half but I guess because I'm a slow builder, I'm not very professional so I kind of just had to slowly do it. But when I was building, I noticed that these wood, if you look closely here, this part here are stickers. So everything you see in the background right here, it's a sticker, of course. It's not painted on. If it was painted on, I would even love it more. But it's stickered. So if you look at this corner right here, because we are moving back and forth and sliding it on the table, there is this corner where the sticker meets. It's peeling. So that is not a good sign. If it started peeling on day one, I don't know how long it'll last us. So I'm guessing we just have to be really gentle on it, but it just kind of sucks because corners usually they start to peel off and I'm just afraid of warping. The panels, this panel right here, it's pretty thick so maybe it won't warp. I think warping might be the back because it's thinner. Let me show you how it's how thin. You see this part? It's pretty thin, you see? It's so thin so that part might warp. I don't know, cross my fingers. Depends on the heat, the humidity, there's a lot of things that can make things work. Okay, so moving on to the next con. This is the one I really don't like. Is this. Do you guys see that? you see the pool? I was showing you earlier, I was so disappointed. But do you guys see this? This is already dry. I already wiped it down. And look, it's stained. And it's. I could feel there is a bubble of water underneath or some kind of like water because it's there is like a bump here. So I'm so disappointed. I mean this dollhouse costs us a lot of money and we want it to last us for a long time. But this definitely won't last me already because Sophie only played it with it for like, I don't know, 20-30 minutes and look what happened. So I really really wish that MGA made this part into a vinyl or some kind of thicker plastic or something instead of a paper sticker. Because this material and these, this material up here are the same. They're stickers. They're paper stickers. So this part, I don't know, it's starting to work. But you see along here, it's already staining. And of course, if you put water into a pool, it's going to go on this part. And I really wish that this was better made. I know that they made a pool. It's meant for water to come in. But I guess they didn't think about it coming on here. and the damage is going to happen to the, the wood here. So very disappointed in that. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what to do. I mean, it's already kind of messed up as you can see. But what can you do? And here the sandbox. The sandbox is fine. Nothing's wrong with it. Also, if you guys decide that the water is such a big problem and don't want your kid to play with it, you can take this out and put it on the table and play. But then, what's the fun in it, you know? You want the dollhouse to have the pool inside, not a hole. So I'm just gonna let Sophie play, you know, it is what it is. I wish it was different, but it's not. So that's my con. This little for sale sign, super cute. Building it was okay, but look, it won't stand. 
I don't know, I wish to stand, I don't know if I made it wrong, but it's very wobbly because it's cardboard, you know, we had to tape it, but it's cardboard, it didn't, it didn't stay like the way that the picture did. And then, moving on, our furniture is made out of plastic, like I think I mentioned earlier, our fridge. I mean, not all play sets are the same, so don't say that this is gonna happen to you, but this is what happened to us. So if you open our fridge, you see the corners are already falling out. So when you open it like this, it's fine, but when you start to close it, my, the part right here, it's the latch, it starts to like loosen up. So you can open it slowly, but once Sophie opens it all the way, like that, and then she try to close it, see, it's coming out of its la latch right there. And then the whole thing falls out. So that was a total like bummer for me. I really, I mean, I really want it to be made well, but that's what we have. Everything else works fine. Toilet was working, the shower was working, the lights were working. So another thing I find a little wobbly is this little bassinet. This little part here where you cover it, it seemed to always get so loose. And it's just, it just, it fits in, but I think it could have been more snugged on so that it doesn't, you know, fall over. But earlier, Sophie touched it and it just popped out this part here. Um, I guess not a big deal, but you know, I'm paying for all this and I'm just trying to show you guys all the pros and cons that I think. The elevator works fine. I think it, it, it's pretty good. So that's it. That's my pro and con about this dollhouse. If I find out anything more, I'll let you guys know. You guys can check out me on Instagram and we can chat about this. If you guys want to find out more information, have any questions, just let me know. But that's it. That's our dollhouse. We're super excited. I just love the decor and you know, our, this is the biggest dollhouse that we have for LOL. But first of all, we gotta ask our kid if she likes it or not. So Sophie, do you like your dollhouse? A lot? Yeah? So there you go. This is all for her. So if she enjoys it, that's fine. But you know, for a parent like me, I prefer something better made. But it is what it is. All right, friends, this ends our video. If you guys liked it, make sure you give Sophie a thumbs up and subscribe to Sophie's Play Day. Let us know down below if you guys are going to get one and how excited are you. All right, until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.